I'm Sojun Shim from Incheon Academy of Science and Arts. Our school, IASA, is one of the best schools in South Korea. Students here study to represent our society in math and science, and we like to talk about our society's issues. But the most important thing is, we, we love soccer. Did you watch the Qatar World Cup? Well, I bet 99% of you know these handsome guys. Thanks to Cho, Sun, and the football team, our country made it to the round of 16 and made every Korean proud and happy. But I'm here to tell something different in the World Cup. Do you know this team? They are Iranian football team. Right now in Iran, protests are happening all over the country to criticize the Iranian government for executing a 22-year-old woman just because she was improperly wearing the hijab. The Iranian football team decided to support the protesters and didn't sing their national anthem in their World Cup opening. Unfortunately, the government didn't like it and they threatened the football team that they could be punished to death penalty. This is not the end. The government decided to arrest the protesters and execute them. The Wall Street Journal reported that there are almost 300 people that were executed because of protesting and 44 of them are teenagers. Just yesterday, I saw some news about the Iranian government executing two protesters and held their body in front of the rest of the supporters. We need to take this seriously. Was execution really needed? People cannot understand. In the 21st century, century that we live in, majority of the countries ban the death penalty. On the other hand, there are some countries that maintain the death penalty in both law and practice. People are executed and sentenced to death as punishment for various crimes. Sometimes they are even punished for acts that should not be criminalized. In some countries, it can be for drug-related offenses, and in others like Iran, it can be for terrorism-related acts or murder. This graph shows the countries that maintain the death penalty in, in both law and practice. China has the most death row inmates, and Iran is following. Keeping the death penalty in our society has always been a controversial issue. I strongly believe that the death sentence is inhumane and should be abolished. These are the reasons. First of all, the death penalty does not give any benefits for the society. Think about it. If someone committed a violent crime and they should be properly isolated from society, then taking away their lives is neither appropriate or necessary. Furthermore, death penalty does not reduce the crime rate. Countries that commonly execute death penalty insist that the death penalty is a good means of reducing crime. However, this claim has been repeatedly discredited and there is no evidence that the death penalty is any more effective in reducing crime than life imprisonment. Also, the death penalty could be abused and innocent people could be sentenced to death. What this means is that it cannot only be used to suppress people, but also people can be killed by a mistake. Remember, judges are human and human makes mistakes. Studies of prisoner conviction cases over the 21st century have shown that approximately 1% of prisoners are firstly convicted. The death penalty is irreversible. Once you execute a death sentence, you can never correct it. As long as you have other means which are less lethal, more appropriate, you don't need to rely on extreme punishment. Thank you for listening to my speech.